Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, last week, of course, Mother Nature brought the heat, but this time, or this past weekend, things were a lot more comfortable. And, well, that's going to be the case for today as we're essentially continuing on with that. And for the most part, dry weather is expected to prevail. There will be some off chances at a few showers and storms sprinkled in throughout the week. But the next couple of days, those temperatures will be on the upswing as we have high pressure that built in for today. But as that high slides away, we'll see those winds start to pick up out of the south. That's, of course, going to bring in more of that heat. And that's going to bring in more of that humidity. So by the middle of this week, and it kind of look like it did last week, but for today, plenty of sunshine will take us through the afternoon. A couple passing clouds from time to time, and our temperatures will be pretty close to average, topping out in the low 80s. And mind you, our average high in Eau Claire this time of year is 82 degrees. Now, starting that decline, we'll see those average temperatures drop over uh, the coming weeks. But a look at our Nicolay Bank sky cam over Hastings Way shows a little bit of haziness to the sky uh, going into this afternoon. Air quality is still not much of an issue at this time. 76 degrees in Eau Claire and that dew point at 57. So that is pretty comfortable. But over the next couple of days, those dew points will continue to slide up just a bit. And you'll start to notice those as early as tomorrow. A lot of us in the mid-70s right now towards the northeast. Things are a little cooler. 71 right now in Medford. And there were some locations that started off this morning in the mid-40s. Earlier, Toma was at 45 degrees. Now they've rebounded fairly nicely to 76 degrees. But with high pressure in the area, like I mentioned earlier, this is where we have these calm winds that are mostly out of the north, so that's keeping our dew points at some fairly comfortable levels. A lot of us in the lower 50s, but towards the west, creeping up into the upper 50s and low 60s. And again, the next couple of days, we'll see those on the upswing as well as those temperatures. And Wednesday, not going to feel too comfortable with dew points nearing that 70 degree mark. And this is all because when we look at our upper level flow, we do have this ridge that's off towards our west. Now, that will, of course, slide towards the east. For the moment, looking at our jet stream right here downstream of that ridge, this is typically where we see that surface high develop. But that, again, will continue to push a bit further towards the east. And this is what's heading our way. It's bringing some warmer temperatures to parts of the western half of the Dakotas and into eastern Montana for today and tomorrow. But for the most part, satellite and radar has been clear, as will be the case for a good bit of today. Now, looking at skycast for the afternoon, aside from a couple passing clouds, again, things will stay dry. Now, as we head into tomorrow, that's where that high is going to start to slide further towards the east. That will open up the door for more clouds to roll in. That will bring those winds out of the south. Still staying dry for tomorrow, for the most part. Looking ahead at tomorrow night may even clear out a bit. But Wednesday will bring some intervals of clouds and sun. And, well, for some of us, could have some chances at a few showers and storms pop up, especially going into the afternoon when factoring in all of that heat and humidity that we're expecting. Highs today, again, right around average. Most of us into the lower 80s. Some places towards the northeast may stay in the 70s. But temperatures tonight into tomorrow morning are going to look very similar to what we saw this morning. Maybe just a degree or two warmer with mid to upper 50s on tap. But beyond that, again, continuing to warm up. Upper 80s nearing 90, both for Wednesday and for Thursday, both of those days just bringing slight chances at a few showers and storms. But then a cold front moves through, and that'll cool us off quite a bit this weekend with a few chances at some widespread showers and temperatures into the upper 70s and low 80s. Now for a Sunshine Award, Sandra Crystal would like to nominate Donald Crystal and says, Due to two back surgeries and sciatic nerve issues, I've been unable to do household chores. My husband has done the laundry, cooking, and shopping for about two years despite his own health issues. I thank him so much. No complaints from him or me. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. This is pretty typical for an August forecast, early August. Yeah, I would say so. When we have the heat, we have the humidity. Mm -hmm. And, well, as I mentioned earlier, too, those uh, average temperatures are going to start to take the plunge in yes, the coming weeks. They do, don't mm -hmm. they? Second <laughs> half of summer. All right. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.